brought you into this game. My name is Ken Huntermeter. And I'm Brad Stark. We brought Brad, Brad back. Uh, so under, really, he didn't go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had to fly him out again. and Same the, location. A whole other track. hassle. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just shoot in the same place all the time. You know? <laughs> Magic of video editing. That's right. Uh, but we're going to a brewery yeah. that we really haven't gone to, surprisingly. It's I, um, yeah. it's one I hear a lot about, you know, but I don't because I, you know, I live we live in Chicago. I don't have a car. I don't, you know, I go back to Michigan because that's where my family is. But the, this place from Wisconsin, right? Right. And so I don't actually, ha I haven't had a lot of experience with this particular brewery. Yeah, they don't distribute outside of Wisconsin. I think they have plans to maybe because they just uh, expanded their brewery. Right. And we're, by the way, we're speaking of New Glarus. Hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Salt. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it also made it easy that um, uh, I picked up a keg of New Blairs today for the house in the in the kegerator, and we're drinking their Stone Soup, uh, which is their their Belgian ale. It's kind of a Belgian golden ale. Uh, but uh, so we we're gonna take a few points off of that and, and and check it out, and uh, let's give it a whirl. I want to point out that, you know, because of the, uh, the magic of video editing, uh, you can't see, but when we first poured this out, my head was all the way to the rim. Yeah. It's uh, coming out of the keg. I don't, I don't know if we just have to make some adjustments to the CO2, but uh, pretty heady beer. So I'm thinking, I'm attributing it to the yeast, uh, whatever Belgian yeast strain they used. I'm not sure. It went away pretty quickly. It does, yeah. This is probably what it should be, maybe. A little more. A little more, yeah. A little more. It's cloudy. Finger. Finger. It, yeah, it is It is very cloudy, golden. But it's, it's got that uh, that haze to it. For sure. Next thing to sniff. Next we sniff. Next we sniff. Look, sniff, drink. It's got that uh, banana fruitiness to it. Low, the clove and banana. Mm -hmm. That's typical of the Belgian style. That's right. It's spot on. A little, 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 <laughs> uh, little spicy. Don't breathe so hard that it goes in the nose. Yeah. yeah. No. But <laughs> luckily we waited that the, the head was down. Otherwise... I thought you'd get drunker if you snorted. it. <laughs> <laughs> or bang for your buck. New Glarus, the heroin of beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm ready to dive right on in. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Not that I didn't sample it four or five times when I hooked it up, but... <laughs> That's good. Yeah, it is good. I think it has, like, a, a pretty good attenuation to it. It's not too sweet. It's, like, a, a nice mix of dry and sweet. It finishes so clean. It's one of those beers where you're like, what did I drink? Oh, that was good. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, it's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I think it comes in around maybe like 5.3, 5.6. Light and beer? It's, pretty, it's not even beer. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's light for a Belgian style. Right, but it, it still packs a lot of flavor in there. And then, uh, it's still, it's still pretty affordable, too. You got the, the keg out the door, 130 bucks. That's pretty good. That's a steal. Half barrel. Half barrel. No Illinois taxes on that. So no, I went up to Wisconsin for that <laughs> shit. Really just r r raised the, uh, the tax on yeah. alcohol. Yeah, yeah in Illinois, Illinois, right. I haven't actually bought any under new tax. It's only been a few days in September. So I think it'll be doing a lot, of, lot more uh, Wisconsin runs every time I... We usually... When Talking Wisconsin runs, it's attributed to the cheese and the sausage. But, uh, uh, yeah, I go up there for beer. Um, <laughs> you know, well, they got the Indiana runs. <laughs> I did a lot of Michigan runs. You said. Too many cherries, or We're always getting the runs. <laughs> It's like when you, I, I didn't know about that whole like if you just eat a lot of fruit thing. Oh yeah. You get the runs, and then watch uh, out. Be, be 
be by your home base. <laughs> Once I went to Dominic's, like, before hitting the train for, like, a six-hour train ride, and I just like, oh, I'm just going to be super healthy, eat a lot of fruit. <laughs> How long, how long are you at Dominic's? <laughs> also, no, don't yeah. eat a lot of cheese in one setting either. No. That, that'll screw yeah. you up, too. <laughs> Welcome to Poopcast. <laughs> I like the bathrooms in the city. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What's the stone soup doing to us? Yeah, right? Glorious, but their new brewery is all green, right? Wind powered? I think so. Yeah. Kudos. I haven't uh, checked it out. I'd love to go up there again. I, we actually went together and, and checked it out the first time. Right. Tour is kind of lame because it's the audio tour. You don't get like the drunken guy showing you around. You yeah, know. they just give you like a handheld audio thing and you pick what you want to listen to. A Walkman with a headset. Yeah, it's it, like a phone. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a Zach Morris phone. <laughs> This is the mesh ton. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of disappointing, though. I, I figure I'd, I'd want more out of a tour than just, like, a museum, you know? Right. The store is nice. they got a lot of stuff you can buy. And you cool. get samples at the end. Samples are good. Two bucks, you get glass and a couple samples. So, yeah, but uh, New Glarus is, is something that, I mean, I drink fairly regularly because I'll just <laughs> you know I'll be up in Wisconsin I'll grab some and come home famous for the spot cow yeah I think that's probably their um, their flagship the ladies love it fruit beers too right and they they're in the beer community I think they're most known for their um, their um, raspberry the Belgian red and the raspberry tart which is their fruit beers and they're they're really amazing Sour and delicious. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Or as I like to say, sour and delicious. I think those two words are synonymous. Yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have the means, certainly check out some new Glarus there. Um, even I would just recommend just chilling out in because it's it's the town of New Glarus, Wisconsin, and it's kind of a cool town. It's a Swiss town, and they just have like a you know they have like a. You know, it's one of those places where you have to go to all the separate stores for each thing that you want. You go to the bakery if you want bread. You go to the creamery if you want cheese. And it's like it's a really cool town. So if you're up in Wisconsin and going that way, if you're up, going up to Madison for whatever reason, stop in New Glarus uh, and, and check this stuff out because they're doing some really great stuff and they have a lot of different types of things that they do too. Oh, the Unplug series. Yeah. Which is like our Brewers Gone Wild. Right. It's just kind of like an exp their experimental yeah. line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was, that was Dan Carey <laughs> flashing. <laughs> uh, that's just a different beer each time. Yeah, off. they just kind of let them go nuts. Their it, barley wine ice was pretty popular yeah. last season. And now I think they have like an old English porter is their new one that's coming out done some like imperial saison they they've done a sour a long time ago uh can't really think of much they, i think they did an imperial hefeweizen too which is pretty badass but we're almost done with this and we got uh to go along with this we got a boulevard double wit yeah, so basically the, the theme of the show is going to be American Belgian style ales. <laughs> I, like, so, I love Boulevard. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we'll be back with some Boulevard courteous of Dale, Hopcast listener. Just shout out! Viewer. On that <laughs> you do video, right? On the previous episode. <laughs> Viewer. Oh, yeah, listen. He probably listens and views. <laughs> Viewer listens and listener. Podcast. I'm sure he's not just viewing. <laughs> Those guys on our ass. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> and we're back. We are back, but you are not oh. finished, sir. <laughs> so uh, we have this uh, special beer that we cannot, another one that we can't get in Chicago, actually. So we have two different themes on this show. Beers we cannot get? <laughs> Beers we cannot get and American Belgian styles. So this is the Double Wit, which is... a Oh, that's oh, perfect. Fail. 
that broke. Is it gonna... Uh, yeah, we'll get into there. Um, so, so I think this is a style that's new to all of us. We've never really had... We've had plenty of wits before, but So never... what makes what makes a wit? Um, it's, it's very light, and it's also usually spiced with the spices that they've um, listed on the back here. Not, you know... Coriander and orange peel is what I normally associate. Coriander and orange so, peel. This one so has. We should has... get the stone soup, but alcohol probably. I'm betting it's going to be stone soup on steroids. Could be. That's yeah. that's what I'm, the, what I'm expecting. In addition to the coriander and the orange peel, this one also has cardamom and lavender and grains of paradise. So, I'm going to work on getting this thing open, and then, and then uh, let's pour it on out. And then we'll pour it. That looks like the snow soup. Yeah, it does. More carbonated, though. Yeah, I'm getting more bubbles. Uh, mine had a lot of my snow soup. Look at that. Look at that, though. That's insane. Yeah, you have a lot more in your pint glass, though. I don't... I you have got hardly... some black stuff. I have sediment, because I have a uh, little bit of the dregs at the bottom of the bottle. I'm not really getting any carbonation out of this style glass. Um, the aroma... is... Very spicy, but it, it smells very familiar, and I can't really put yeah, my thing. It smells like something I've had before. It smells refreshing. It smells like a spring rain. Yeah. <laughs> it smells like the monsoon across the, the, the plains of India. Yes, we do. <laughs> but uh, before we get into this, I wanted to again mention that uh, I got this in a trade from our, our good buddy at the podcast, uh, Dale. Dale, Dale, shout out. You uh, can watch him back. On the previous episode, he can't brought, remember exactly which episode it was. No, which number. but he brought us some Odell's and some Dale's Pale Ale because he loves that shit. Yep, it's his. Uh, it's it's Dale's flagship beer. It's the Dale's Pale Ale. It's his name. I love the Brad's. <laughs> <laughs> Brad's IPA. <laughs> we'll work on that. <laughs> um, <but laughs> I yeah. s- what is that? All right, let's, let's taste I, it. I think it. I think it smells like ginger. I have no idea what cardamom is. Is it the, the cardamom? It's, um, it's a spice that's... I, I feel like it's almost close to coriander. But this is coming in at 8%. So, so maybe that's it, though. Maybe that's the cardamom that's... Yeah. Pretty hefty. All right. All right. Well, cheers. Let's give it a shot, guys. That is um, quite kick-ass, I will say. Uh, first of all, the carbonation in the mouthfeel is is much the, more uh, than it appears in my glass. It's quite effervescent. Yeah, we're seeing it in that. It reminds me of something we've had recently. There's like a lot of sweetness, but creamy and refreshing at the same time. There's a lot of things going on. It's also tart. It's very spicy. But it's overall very balanced. I mean, nothing is... Nothing's offensive. There's a lot of things going on, but nothing's just overwhelming the whole beverage. You're not getting punched in the face with one specific thing. Right. No, but there's a punch. Yeah. But there's a lot of stuff. You're, you're getting your ass kicked. This but is, you're not uh, sure where it's coming from. This and then you're like, thank you. Thank, <laughs> you. thank you, bro. Thank, thank you, sir. May I have another? Thank you, Brooklyn. Can I have another? <laughs> <laughs> but this is one of the more unique ales I've had in a long time. This is quite, quite something. So this this is new part of the... It's part of the Smoke Sack series, right? But it's number eight, I think it said. Okay, yeah, this was February of 2009. Number eight. I mean, I like Brooklyn. I've had the the local one and the local two, and you know, they're the lager, which is everywhere when you go to New York. We haven't had much Brooklyn. I haven't had wonderful luck with them, but I haven't given them a hearty shot. I think the last one I had was their number two, which was the Kopfweizen. Kopfweizen. And it was awesome. I loved it. Oh, okay. I remember yeah. both the local one and number two being very uh, carbonated and super mm-hmm. carbonated. Yep, it was it was good, it was good shit. Uh, back to the bully. Right. So, S- I wonder if Stevens had this. Shout out. He's from he's from the area. Yes, Brewer. 
Stephen Fresh Knock. <laughs> and he he loves Boulevard. Yeah. I think he loves That's his Boulevard favorite, his as, favorite brewery. as much as we love Three Chords. Mm-hmm. Or as much as I love Hair of the Dog. Ooh. Am I really, have I been really confused? I've been saying Brooklyn. I've been thinking Brooklyn the yeah. entire time. Oh, I thought you were comparing them to that. No. Oh, no. yeah, I did too. I've been... Con- I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking Brooklyn. The Damn you, time. Dragon Slayer! <laughs> then, the, you slayed me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been defeated. Uh, I thought it was Brooklyn the entire time. It's Boulevard. I, this is then. This is my first Boulevard. Oh well. You didn't have that. Sa- you weren't there that night. Waiting Goodbye, up Cherry. Saison. No, I was not there. Oh, Saison. The Saison's really good. At the Fellowship of Gentlemanly Gentlemen. We opened. Uh, Found gents. We opened. We opened a couple on an episode. We opened. We did a double wide. Double wide and something else. Should we do a quad? I have a quad. Can we drink it? Let's do a quad. Stay tuned for a quad. <laughs> we haven't quadded already. <laughs> I'm sure I just confused the shit out of our viewers for the past five minutes. You I confused thought, me. Yeah. I, th- I thought you were comparing it. No. I did too. I, I confused Brooklyn and Boulevard. Yeah. Whatever. But I get like, I mean, overall I think, some, I mean, I'm going to reiterate the fact that, I mean, I get a lot of ginger... But it's almost bready to me as well. It feels like a really hearty drink, but it's um, really, really tasty stuff. This this is one that stands out in my mind as one of the the better beers that we've ever even had on the show. Right. There's just something unique there that I can't figure out what it is. Yeah. It's like, why do I like this? It's beyond us. <sighs> <laughs> I you like the beatness. I like it a lot. I like wits, but I like at the same time I I feel like. Like, if you double the wit, this isn't what you get. There's something more to it. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, there's more to it than just a double wit, even though it's called a double wit. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's kind of like, you know, bringing back to me the, like, the Hitachino wit is also, like, a, a really good one, and it's unique as well. But, uh, I mean, this is great stuff. So, I mean, thanks again, Dale, for, for trading and, and hooking us up with it. Right, uh, a couple of Greek beers on this episode, the New Glarus, now the Boulevard. Good show. I'm, I'm satisfied. Hope you are, too. Sleep thanks happy. for joining us. Cheers. Cheers. Woo.